Hi friends, thanks so much for coming back to craft with me on my birthday. Today's my birthday and I'm very excited because today and pretty much all weekend we're supposed to have nice warm sunny weather so that always makes me very happy. And I'd also like to say happy early Mother's Day to all my mama friends out there grandmas, mother figures, those who are missing a mom this year, just everybody. I hope that you have a weekend full of love and appreciation. And let's just jump right on into the little project I'm going to be working on today while I have some downtime. I feel like I haven't really done a journal making video in a while, but I am constantly making journals. So sometimes I just don't film it. So today's video, I'm just going to make a journal cover using this little pocket flip flap project that I have previously shown in a past video. So I'm going to use a few different materials to try to construct my journal cover. So I've got some fabric here. I've got a file folder and I've got a big wallpaper sheet right here as well. And I'm just going to see what I can come up with. And don't mind that score line there. <laughs> I scored it for a different project, but I didn't use it. So I'm going to use it in this project. So I'm just going to open this up. And it already has like these little, they're not score lines, but I'm going to call them score lines <laughs> over on this side here. So I'm going to add like two more score lines on this side and that's going to be my spine. So I don't know, I'm just going to line this middle part here up at six inches and it looks like the next line here is at five and five eighths. So I'm just going to like reinforce that. And then this line here is about five and a quarter. So I'll just reinforce this one. Whoops, that got a little wonky. <laughs> and then now I'm gonna go over onto this side and do six and three eighths. Just trying to get the same distance between each of my score lines. So six and three eighths and then six and three quarters. So let me just kind of fold these over. Like this and then these scores I'll fold over this way. I kind of have like a curved flexible spine there. I previously scored this file folder down here and I think if I just bring that up I could have it be a pocket on the inside cover. Then that will be a good size for the cover. I'm just gonna have to trim off this part here. So I probably just want to cut this down to, let's start off with like six and a half inches wide. And I'll just flip this upside down and cut the same width on this side. You couldn't even see that, but I pretty much just lined up my outer scores here at six and a half inches and cut off the excess. I flipped this over to the other outermost score line, lined it up at six and a half and cut off the excess there. Um, there is going to be some 
are a little bit of a border around the edges there. So I'm trying to decide if I want to ink that up or like cover it up with a separate paper. I'm not really sure yet. I could also just take some trim and just go around the border as well, which I might do that. But first, I want to just take my fabric here, which I have a whole bunch of fabric samples that I got from somebody who lives near me. <laughs> And so I didn't really like buy these from anywhere. I just got them for free. So let's see. I'm just gonna cut a piece of this fabric. And this is just gonna cover my spine there. So here's what I will do first. I'm just going to pop glue on my spine, not like any part of my front or back cover. And then I'll just place my fabric down on top of this. Just like this. And then I'm going to flip it to the inside here. I'm actually just going to cut off like this middle part. Oh my gosh, there's totally not enough space on this desk. Okay. And then this piece here is going to go on the inside as well, on the spine. I'm just going to cut this piece down a little bit as well. And then same thing on the inside. I'm just going to pop glue on my spine here. And then I'll put this right on top. And I'm not even worrying if these edges are straight because I'm just gonna cover those up. And then I'm just gonna trim off the excess here just with my scissors too, so. And with this, I'm not going to go like right up against the folder there. You know what? This fabric is thin enough to where I can just kind of like glue it down over the folder. So... I might do that actually, like here. And then I'll bring this part right over top, over here, perhaps. my little binder clip here to hold it in place. And then this piece over here is just going to have to get chopped off with my scissors. I am going to now Try 
try to assemble the front cover. And I'm just gonna tape this string onto the back of here. I guess I'll just go around the top and the side and the bottom here. I'm gonna stick this trim on, kind of like putting it underneath the fabric here. And I'll cut this off. And then I'll just put that other piece of the trim right over onto this side. And I'll cut this off here. And then I'm just gonna glue down the rest of this fabric here. And then I can take this back and I'm just gonna glue this whole entire thing right down onto the front. And I'm keeping this string on as well so that this can be tied up. And we'll just place this right on top. I am gonna trim these a little bit. And I think I'm just gonna cut down a piece of my wallpaper here to put on my back cover. All right, I cut this down to six and a quarter by eight and three quarters. And I'm just gonna glue this right down. And for this, I'm going to use a glue stick probably because with wallpaper, sometimes if you don't like really spread out your glue, it will show through like on this side and it'll become bumpy and we don't want that. So I'm just gonna try glue stick first and then if I need to add more, I will add more. I forgot to glue down my fabric here. So let me just do that. And then I probably will just pop some of this glue onto this side because that's going on top of fabric and I'll kind of just try to flatten it out as best I can. Also, if you're wondering where I got my wallpaper here, I actually picked up some free wallpaper books from a local wallpaper store near me. And they're huge. They're like as big as I am and they're super heavy. So they don't even fit on my desk here to show you guys, but they're just chock full of obviously these huge wallpaper samples. And there are a few fabric samples mixed in as well. So I've kind of been playing around with wallpaper and that's where I got this paper. So if you're looking for free junk journaling materials, try asking, I mean, it doesn't even have to be a wallpaper store. It could be like a Lowe's or Home Depot type store. And you can just ask if they have old wallpaper books that they are throwing out. 
because that's where they end up. They just end up throwing those old outdated wallpaper books out that they can't use anymore. So why not ask and see if they have any and you can get free wallpaper for your junk journaling. Okay, so that's gonna be the back. Let me glue down the rest of my fabric here too. I just left that part open in case I wanted to have the fabric on top, but I think I'm gonna put just another whole page straight down on top of the fabric. Okay. So I'm probably gonna wanna cut out two sheets of paper and it's gonna be that same size as the back cover. So what was it? Six and a quarter by eight and three quarters. So I'm gonna cut out two sheets that are that size just to put on my front and back covers here. So this one can go here. I'm gonna just move that clip really quick and I'll just pop this right on. Okay, I just cut it down a little bit to a little less than eight and three quarters because it doesn't have to be exact. Since this is gonna be a pocket, it's gonna cover up that bottom part there, so. I'm just gonna, again, pop some of this glue over here so that can just go on top of the fabric. All right, so I just cut out a six and a half by three sheet of paper here to cover this up and that'll be my pocket. I'm going to glue this pocket down. So I'm just gonna pop some glue along here. Grab my trim and just place this right on top. I just cut the fabric at the top there too when I was cutting off the trim. I don't know if you can see that, but it's fine, it's whatever. I literally have no idea what I'm doing, so however this turns out will be fine. <laughs> All right, so there's my inside cover on the front. Let's do something on the back inside cover. I think I'm just gonna do the opposite of this page. So I'll put like this hot pink magenta <laughs> page there and then I'll put this wallpaper on the pocket.
then I'll glue this pocket down. All right, I'm gonna try to cut the bottom off there without cutting something else off. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for this cover here. I definitely just need to wait for everything to dry completely, but there we have it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little process video of making this journal cover. We used a bunch of different materials. We incorporated past projects that we've done. So here is the finished cover. We've got our little cotton lace trim border on the front, all of our flip flap pockets. We've got our fabric spine here and here's the back cover. And then here's the inside. So we've got really bright pops of pink or magenta. We've got the wallpaper still. There's our fabric spine. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe to my channel as well for more crafty fun and inspiration. It would be a really great birthday gift to make some more friends on here. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'm so thankful that you are all here with me. Leave me a comment down below and say hi and I'm going to go celebrate my birthday now. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and weekend and I will see you all in my next video. Happy crafting everybody!